Will the GameCube ever come to the Nintendo Switch Online service? With the Nintendo Switch Online subscription service, you can play previous consoles and games from the SNES, the NES, N64, Sega Genesis, and recently the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, which is really cool, but now it has people wondering what's going to be next. Not like we're in a rush because we just got the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance stuff, but people are wondering what could they possibly add next to the service. While it may not happen for a long time, I feel like there's a large likelihood that the GameCube can actually come to the Switch Online service. The GameCube was kind of a failed console for Nintendo, but fans around the world have shown their support and love for the GameCube and all the games that were on it. And the GameCube was a special console and it touched many people, and I'm sure that Nintendo has noticed that. It would definitely be in Nintendo's best interest to add Game Boy Advance games to the Nintendo Switch Online service. When companies have a paid online subscription service, they want to bring new users as well as keep the old users that are already subscribed. They could definitely add on to the previous libraries of consoles like the N64 and everything. They've already announced more Game Boy and Game Boy Advance that are coming in the future, and I'm sure they have unannounced games that will be showing up in the future, but there needs to be a massive announcement every once in a while that gets people really excited and hyped about the future of Nintendo. Like, imagine how cool it would be to play Mario Kart Double Dash on your Switch. That was one of the top-selling games for the GameCube, and people would love to see it on the Switch, especially people that don't have a GameCube anymore. A lot of people got rid of their GameCube, so they would love to play some of the GameCube games without actually buying another GameCube. Of course, there's still going to always be something special about playing games on the original hardware. Just the ease of turning on your Switch and playing GameCube games is really quick, and it would look really good on modern day TVs because GameCube is AV, and it doesn't look very good on modern day TVs because they're meant for like the CRT TVs. It seems like Nintendo is like slowly working their way up the ladder through all their previous consoles and adding them to the online service so like every year or two. Like, they announced the N64 and the Sega Genesis at the same time, I believe, which was about, like, last year. I might be wrong on that, but... Also, if we don't see GameCube games on the Nintendo Switch online service, they could be saving GameCube for their next console release. I mean, it's crazy to think that the Switch lifespan is kind of almost over. I mean, it's already been out for almost seven years now. It's been out since, like, 2017. I can't remember if it was the end or beginning of 2017. But typically, Nintendo consoles last around six or seven years or so maybe they're gonna announce like a heavily updated version of the switch you know with like better hardware and everything it's tough to imagine that the switch is so old though i feel like the switch just came out another reason why they might not ever add the gamecube to the switch is because they could see the success of the gamecube in today's world compared to how it was back then back then i mean some games are still popular of course but the gamecube was a failure in nintendo's eyes compared to their other consoles they could just port gamecube games directly onto the switch with a physical copy and an eShop copy where people just have to pay another 40 or $60 for a remastered version of a GameCube game. That would definitely be a good business decision because they would make a ton of money from that and people would still buy it 100%. But I feel like adding GameCube to the online service would just make millions of people subscribe to that service, once again, making them a ton of money. But you never know, Nintendo always has something up their sleeve. Maybe they're saving it for the future. Maybe they're gonna drop it soon. Maybe it would be the final console to be announced for the online service for the Switch until the next mega console so I guess I'll call it for Nintendo's released. I mean, it would make sense for the GameCube to be next in line since the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance were just announced, and I feel like the GameCube would be the next console, and then DS maybe? I think DS on the Switch Online service would be super cool. The DS is what I grew up with more so than the GameCube, but I still really like the GameCube. I have a few memories of the GameCube, but not nearly as many as the DS. In the future, I definitely want to talk about the Nintendo Switch Online DS service, though, because I feel like they could do that, but it'd also be kind of complicated because of the DS with the two screens, so they're going to have to kind of remake some games. But anyways, that's for another day. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'm really curious to see if you guys think they're going to add the GameCube to the online service soon or not, or save it for the next console. Let me know if there's anything that you thought of that I haven't mentioned. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.